In this video, I'm talking about 21 things you probably did not know about Atlanta, Georgia. Number five is my absolute favorite because What's up guys? My name is Anthony Laborde. I'm your YouTube realtor here in Atlanta, Georgia. If this is your first time on my channel, this is where you're going to learn everything, anything about living, working, playing, running, hopping, swimming, you name it here in the ATL. And if that's something of interest to you, please go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to teach you something new every single week. And if you're moving to Atlanta, relocating here, maybe you know somebody that's moving here, please share my information with them. Every single week, I'm hearing from more and more people. Used to be here in the US, last week I heard from somebody in Italy and Brazil, crazy. Reaching out to me about moving to Atlanta, wanting to know more about the school districts, drive times, where they're gonna be working at, what's the safest neighborhoods. In this channel, that's where you're gonna learn it. Please subscribe to learn more. So I'm gonna jump right into the list at number 21, and that is Atlanta, Georgia has quickly become, over the past few years, known as the Hollywood of the South. Just in the last year alone, we've had over 320 TV productions and movies. Shows like The Walking Dead, that's filmed here. Avengers, Black Panther, Dumb and Dumber, that was filmed on Marietta Square. We're home to several major film studios. More and more coming here, feels like every week. But one of the biggest here is Pinewood Studios. Pinewood is the largest studio in the United States outside of Los Angeles. In addition to Pinewood, Tyler Perry just built his new 200,000 square foot studio just outside of town. And he's claiming there's more to come. Keeping it in the entertainment sector, Atlanta is known for its legendary music industry. For decades and decades, we have pumped out Grammy-winning artists from every genre. Atlanta is known for its hip-hop culture, but we're only two hours from Nashville, and we're in the South. So we have a strong country-western genre here. Uh, we're also in the Bible Belt, so lots of gospel music, a lot of Christian contemporary music. Even the Atlanta Symphony, who was formed in the 1940s, has 27 Grammy Awards to its name. The music industry here in Atlanta supports $4 billion worth of Atlanta metro economy. They employ over 20,000 employees in the music industry. We have over 70 annual music festivals every single year, and our postgraduate programs from all the universities here in Atlanta has over 45 programs for music business, performance, entertainment, technology, and more. Growing, growing, number 20, our massive, massive music industry. Number 19 on the list, Atlanta is home to the world's busiest airport. Our airport covers over 4,700 acres in Atlanta. Five parallel runways, almost 200 gates at the airport. We have over a thousand flights in and out every day. Get this, 300,000 people travel in and out of Atlanta airport every day. That equals over 110 million people a year out of Atlanta, Hartsfield, number 19, the world's busiest airport right here in Atlanta. On the list is Atlanta's massive, massive growing economy. You see Atlanta's home to over 30 of the world's Fortune 500 companies, over 50 of the world's Fortune 100 companies. That's crazy. We have all these massive industries here that are just growing and growing and pumping more of that money back into the economy, employing more of our residents here, making Atlanta one of the greatest opportunities for growth and employment in all of the Southeast, which brings us to number 17 on the list, and that is the cost of living in Atlanta. If you haven't seen my cost of living video, and I'll plug it right up here, somewhere. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. I go into much more detail about the cost of living in Atlanta. But if you take a look at this chart here, you can see that as we compare to other major cities on the eastern seaboard and up in the northeast, we are below the national average in terms of our home prices. Now, the rent here in Atlanta is a different story. It can get on up there. And you can see we, when you compare it to the other major cities, we're a little bit higher. But again, the overall cost of living for the size of our economy, for the size of this city at almost 6 million people, and we're the ninth fastest growing city in the U.S., that makes us extremely attractive as a place to live, work, and play here in the ATL. So that brings us to number 16 on the list in Atlanta, Georgia is the birthplace of Coca-Cola. You see John Pemberton, he was a Confederate colonel in the Civil War. He was injured during the war and became addicted to morphine. During that time, he started looking for an alternative to that morphine. He owned a drugstore at the time and created a nerve tonic. It was an alcohol tonic, but it had cocaine in it. It had some other stimulants in there, including caffeine, but it got him off the morphine. Fast forward, prohibition took place. He removed the alcohol, hence became Coca-Cola, as the non-alcoholic replacement to the nerve tonic. 
and the rest is history. Number 15 on the list is Atlanta's rich history and its role in the Civil War. You see, in the summer of 1864, General Sherman was marching towards the sea. He was wrapping up the Civil War. He had to come through Georgia. The whole goal of coming through Georgia was to intimidate Georgians into giving up the Confederate way. So he was marching through there. He ran into General Johnson's troops in North Atlanta. They ended up in the Battle of Kennesaw where thousands of men died. Eventually, Sherman's armies flanked the mountain, went around, went on to Atlanta, burned the city down and onto the sea, and the rest is history. But that brings us to number 14 on the list. And Atlanta is the only US city ever to be destroyed in an act of war. And that's when General Sherman was marching through there, won the battles, burned the city down, made history, went onto the sea, and ended the war. Staying on the topic of history and the Civil War, back in the mid-1920s, there was an Atlanta resident who broke her ankle, and she was laid up in the house for a number of months at a time and bored out of her mind. Well, her husband suggested she write a book, and it was during that time she wrote one of the most famous books of all times about Atlanta in the Civil War, and that was Miss Margaret Mitchell when she wrote Gone with the Wind. Crazy little tidbit is that's the only novel she ever wrote, and she ended up winning a Pulitzer Prize for it. So Atlanta is home to Gone with the Wind and Miss Margaret Mitchell. Staying on the topic of history brings us to number 12 on the list, and that is Atlanta, Georgia is the birthplace to Dr. Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement. See, Dr. King was born in 1929 here in Atlanta. His house is still protected as a historical site. He is Ebenezer Baptist Church, where he was baptized. His father and he were ministers there. He gave a number of his famous speeches. He is still in downtown Atlanta, still operational. Number 12 on the list, the birthplace of Dr. Martin Luther King. If for any reason you ever get an inkling to ride your bicycle all the way to the Alabama borderline, you can do it on the Silver Comet Trail. Silver Comet Trail starts in Smyrna, Georgia, goes for over 90 miles all the way to Alabama. It used to be an old railroad track. And the name of the rail car that used it was the Silver Comet. When they retired the rail car, they retired the rail track, paved it over, and now it's the second longest paved trail in all the United States. Silver Comet Trail, number 11 on the list. Keeping it on the topic of trails, we're gonna bring it into the city and number 10 on the list, and that's the Atlanta Beltline Trail. Another paved trail, but this one's 22 miles. It connects 40 of the inner city neighborhoods. There's restaurants, there's clubs, there's all kinds of stuff along these trails. Beautiful, beautiful, super scenic through some of the most beautiful neighborhoods. And as a matter of fact, I have a video on that. Check it out here, Atlanta's safest neighborhoods, the most beautiful neighborhoods inside the city limits, and the Atlanta Beltline connects them all. Number nine on the list is Atlanta's diversity. If you've ever been here, you know that we are an international city. We have the world's busiest airport. It's, the, it's one of the largest international airports in the world, but it's just a melting pot of every nationality that you can think of. Not only do you have all these nationalities, Atlanta is has the second largest LGBT community in the entire country, only behind San Francisco. Crazy, just a super diverse, super cultural, amazing city. Established in 1928 brings us to number eight on the list, and that is Atlanta is home to the world's largest drive-in. The Varsity Restaurant serves hamburgers, onion rings, hot dogs, has been since 1928. It was founded by a Georgia Tech student who had dropped out of school and had a hot dog stand. And the place is right across the street from Georgia Tech University. The Varsity is the world's largest single server of Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola headquarters is right around the corner from them. They serve two miles of hot dogs a day, and get this, 2,500 pounds of onion rings and potatoes to 10 to 20,000 people every day. Amazing. Number seven on the list, here in Georgia, we're known as the Peach State and we love our peaches. That's why we have 71 streets. Yeah, 71 streets in Atlanta named some form of peach tree. And that brings us to number six on the list and many people think that those peach tree streets are named after peach trees but they're not. There's a lot of debate for many years. The Creek Indians, which used to be here long before everybody, they were the originators here in Atlanta. They had a location called the Pitch Tree, the Standing Pitch Tree. Pitch Tree stands for all the Georgia pines here and all the resin and the sap those trees produce. That's the pitch, hence Standing Pitch Tree. Much debate, who knows? A lot of streets named Peach Tree, could be Pitch Tree, who knows? I mentioned at the beginning that number five is my favorite one on the list, and that's because it's about the city of Kennesaw. Kennesaw is a suburb of Atlanta. It's right next to Marietta. I actually live at the corner of Kennesaw and Marietta, but there's a law on the books. In 1984, the law was put on the books that every citizen inside the, I can't laugh, I can't even say it without laughing. Every citizen in the city limits was required to have a gun in their house. 
I know it's a crazy law, but this is Georgia. We're in the South, a lot of good old boys here. And I challenge you to take a guess what our crime rate here in Kennesaw and Marietta is. Because who's gonna come up here and break in when you know everybody's got a gun? Logical. Number four on the list, Atlanta is a massive, massive sports town. I can't even tell you all the sports that we have here. It's not even just the big ones. I, mean, we, I think there's something like 11 or 12 professional sports teams here with the professional Frisbee and lacrosse and rugby, and baseball, you got the Braves, you got the Falcons and the football, the Hawks is the, the NBA and then all the minor league teams. But on top of all the professional teams, think about all the universities that we have here with the University of Georgia and Georgia Tech and Georgia State and Georgia Southern and Kennesaw State. Plus, because we're strategically located here in the Southeast, we have Tennessee and Florida and Alabama and South Carolina and North Carolina and all those collegiate sports and all the big events going on here in Atlanta because of the strategic location. It is a massive, massive sports town. If you're a sports fan, you're gonna absolutely love Atlanta. And that brings us to the final three. I'm tired of being in the office. I'm gonna go for a run. I'm gonna head out on the trails. I'm taking you to one of my favorite spots in all of Atlanta, and that's Kennesaw Mountain. We're gonna go for a run, and we're gonna finish off the final three. Let's go. have heard of the Continental Divide, but the Eastern Divide is number three. The Eastern Divide starts just south of Lake Ontario, comes all the way down the Eastern Seaboard, south into Tennessee, into Georgia, through Alabama to Florida and down. What that is, is on the Eastern side of that, that controls the Eastern watershed into the Atlantic Ocean. On the Western side, that's the Western watershed into the Gulf of Mexico. Runs right down through Atlanta. Pretty cool. Number two on the list is what you're looking at. This state and city is so, so green. So many people think of it as concrete and skyscrapers and it's a big metropolitan area, which it is. It's been known as the city in the forest and you can see why. I'm 20 minutes from downtown. I'm right behind my house. Gorgeous, gorgeous. There's 20 miles worth of trails through Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield. Also along the Chattahoochee. The Chattahoochee runs all the way through Atlanta. All kinds of trails and hills and lots of things to do. Trail running, uh, kayaking on the river. A few years ago, they did a study and found out that 50% of the city itself inside the city limits was covered in trees. Oak trees, magnolias, dogwoods, pines, beautiful, beautiful trees, lots of forest gorgeous area number two just how green it is number one on the list is a reason why many people move here and that's the climate here in Atlanta you get all four seasons right now we're in mid-April I'm in shorts and a t-shirt just went for a run stunningly beautiful it's been 70 degrees all day long I think we have some spring showers creeping in here this evening but just beautiful beautiful summertime gets a little warm averages in the high 80s uh, low 90s some humidity if you're from the north you're probably gonna struggle with it the fall is it's just beautiful beautiful you get all these all this green turns to orange and yellow and bright reds and it's so beautiful during the fall and the winters it averages about 40 degrees a day so it's super super mild beautiful beautiful area the climate and all four seasons is number one on the list hey guys hopefully you enjoyed that list leave me comments below if you have something that you like about atlanta that i didn't mention in here leave it below something interesting i'll respond to all of them and if you have any questions about moving to atlanta or you know somebody moving here have them reach out to me i'd love to help them again my name is anthony laborde i'm a realtor with exp realty my information is below they can call or text anytime any question anytime i'd love to help you guys in the meantime have a great day